Welcome to Manor. I'm so glad you were able to join us today. As you know, the Bible says man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Today, I want to talk to you about condemnation. That's one of the big weapons that the enemy likes to use is condemnation. He loves to throw those darts at our minds, letting us know that we're not worthy. Well, he, he is right. We're not worthy, but God has made us worthy. Why don't you read with me in Romans chapter 8, beginning at verse 1. Let's look at what it says. He said, there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. Notice condemnation comes when we walk in our flesh and not in the spirit, because the spirit that is from God is not a spirit that brings condemnation, but it's a spirit that brings freedom, liberty, and truth, because freedom and liberty comes from truth. And so what the enemy, the only way he can get you into condemnation is to get you into this flesh. But I want to continue to read in verse two, it says, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death for what the law could not do and that it was weak through the flesh. God did by sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh on account of sin. He condemned sin in the flesh. Now, what is condemnation? Condemnation. It is the declaring of guilt. It is mean you have been found guilty. What Jesus said, he became guilty for us that we might be free, that we may be liberated. And so some of us, we're trying to pay the price again for what God has already did. He said, by grace, we are saved, not of works, lest any man should boast. So it is something that God gives us. It is his unmerited favor. It is his good will. He give us the freedom of forgiveness. It's not something we can earn. And then not only does he do that, he has mercy. Whereas we deserve the penalty of our sin, God has compassion. He has pity on us and not give us what we deserve. Isn't that some good news? That ought to make you shout right there. You don't have to walk under the spirit of condemnation. And I want to read a little further. In verse 4, it says that the righteous requirements of the law might be fulfilled in us. Who is the us? Those who do not walk in the flesh, but after the spirit. If you're walking in the, in the flesh, you cannot fulfill the law of God. You can only do it out of your born again spirit followed by Holy Spirit, being led by Holy Spirit. And that's the only way you can do it. If you're walking in your flesh, you're going to always be under the condemnation or the judgment of God. And so now that you're born again, walk out of you, your new born again spirit. Don't walk after that old nature. Walk after the new nature. And that's where you're walking at liberty and freedom. But I want to continue on. He says in verse five, for those who live according to the flesh, set their minds on the things of the flesh. But those who live according to the spirit, they set their minds on the things of the spirit. So it's all about an adjustment where you where you put your focus. If you put your focus on the word of God daily, if you put your focus on spending time in prayer with the father, times of praise and time of worship. Now you begin to walk out of your spirit. But if you, you're spending your time all day on, on using Facebook and other social medias as, as, as fulfillment for your flesh, all it's going to do is pull you back into that old way of living. If you, you spend all your time looking at, at uh, uh, programs that's unproductive, all it's going to do is pull you back into that old way of living and pull you into a life of condemnation. As you begin to begin to do your old sins, you begin to feel guilty again. But Jesus said, I, 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 there's therefore no condemnation that are those that are in Christ. They walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. And I, I want to give you this last point, and we're going we to uh, get ready to close out for today. In verse 6, he says, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God. It is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can it be. Now, what is he talking about is enmity. That means your fleshly nature is hostile against God. It is not subject to the law of God, neither can it be. So if you're going to please God, if you're going to walk in that life and peace, you have to walk in the spirit. You have to walk according to the word. So you're saying, well, pastor, how do I walk in the spirit? Jesus said it like this. My words, they are spirit and they are life. 
So to walk in the spirit means to walk according to the word of God. And one thing I want you to remember as I leave you today, the Bible says in 1 John 1 and 9, God said, if you confess your sins, he's faithful and just to forgive you your sins and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. So take this away today. If you repent, God will forgive you and you don't have to walk in condemnation. Walk in the freedom and the liberty that Christ has made you free with. God bless you until next time. This has been Manna from Heaven. God bless you and we'll see you next time.